Well, hello. We are going to be going over classification practice. You'll notice that there's not annotation words at the top. That's because it's the same as the other one from topic one, because we're still in topic one. But we still have the criteria for success for these lovely multiple choice questions. All right. First step, how would the diagram below differ in the ex if the example were changed to F. Sylvestris? All right, I know that this is a scientific name. The first part is always the genus. The second part is always the species. Differ, I know, is be different. All right, so that's helpful. Um, but now I don't really know what it's supposed to be different to. So I'm going to go back. The diagram below represents the classification of a grizzly bear. That's exciting. All right, so classification, whenever it's like classification, that means that the, you know, the whole Katy Perry can only fart good songs. That's what it's saying. Uh, and it's just showing it in pyramid form. That's really all it's doing. So remember, the kingdom is the most broad. It has the most organisms. Notice how it is the biggest on the pyramid and has the most organisms and species is the most specific, meaning it has the least organisms because as you see here, the only organism is the grizzly bear, which is what this whole thing is showing. How exciting. All right, the cat, Felice Silvestris. Again, cat scientific name is made up of two parts. This is part of the binomial nomenclature. Has the genus and the species, so this F, now I know, stands for Felice. Exciting. Is a mammalian carnivore of the family Felidae. Okay. Family. It told me that three things changed. The species is going to be Sylvestris. The genus is going to be Felis and not Ursus. And the family is no longer Ursidae. It is going to be Felidae, pending that this whole thing changed to be showing a cat. However, I don't know what the rest of this is going to be because it didn't tell me. I mean, I could kind of guess that this is mammalian. It's a mammal. But I'm just basically going on what they show me. There are three things that changed. So that's what I'm going to look for in my answer choice. All right, the phylum would be changed. All right, this this made no mention of a phylum, so I'll know what this is talking about. Bye-bye. The genus would be changed to Felice. Yes, that's true. And the species would be changed to Sylvester's. Absolutely. But that's only two of my three things, so I don't know. I'll leave it. The family would be changed to Felidae. Absolutely. The genus would be changed to Felice. Yes, it would be. I'm checking. And the species would be changed to Sylvester's. Oh my god, look at that. So beautiful. Let's check this last one just to make sure. And the family would be changed to Earth today. Uh, absolutely no, that's what it was, not what it is. So bye-bye. I'm between B and C. This, both of them told me true things. However, C told me all of the things that it would change based on this description. So my answer is going to be C. And have fun with the rest of your practice.